Kaso may batas. <laughs> Hi everyone! This is Rain again and this is the part 2 regarding online or home-based job during this quarantine. Marami pong nagtatanong sa inyo regarding the online job.ph. Uh, Isa-isa ko po yung sasagutin mamaya. And for now, sobrang saya ko po. Sobrang saya po namin dahil nalaman po namin na marami po kami natulungan regarding the first video na na-upload po namin about home-based jobs. na po mas makatulong pa sa mas madaming tao na nangangailangan din ng home base or online jobs during this quarantine. Ang hiling po namin na sana matanggap din po kayo as soon as possible. And regarding this video guys, I'm going to show you what is the interface of onlinejob.ph or after registration, ano ba ang susunod nyong gawin. So stay tuned guys and before I proceed, please click on the subscribe button. Also guys, may mga question po tayo na sasagutin. Isa is regarding the online job.ph. At uunayin natin ang question ni Mary na how to get higher ID proof. Sa ID proof po kasi, mag start po talaga kayo as zero ID proof. Kapag para tumaas ito, kailangan nyo pong i-verify yung account nyo, the online job.ph account, sa email address na ipuput nyo um, upon registering. And second, uh, kailangan nyo pong mag-upload ng ID pictures, proof na ikaw po talaga yon at hindi fake. So, sa classroom may batas. <laughs> Pag na-upload nyo po yun, um, tataas po yung ID proof nyo. And I think kasi way back 2016, sabi nila, kapag nag-take ako ng quizzes na nakahanda na ng onlinejob.ph, pwede rin tumaas yung ID proof ko. So, may mga nakahanda po sila about IQ, English, or kung ano-ano pang quizzes nakahanda ni onlinejob.ph na pwede nyo pong itake as a wow! Yes, guys, ang paggagawa at pag-register sa onlinejob.ph is free. For the next question is from Lynn. Sabi niya, thank you for subscribing and nag-work din ako online but recently nawala na ako ng work. I've been applying jobs on only jobs for two weeks now. I hope na makahanap na ako ng work. So, yung experience yung pong ganyan is na experience ko po way back 2016. Nag-antay din po ako one week, two weeks, two and a half, and then eventually mag email back po yan sila. Kasi sa dami ng tinitignan nilang um, applications araw-araw, um, hindi po agad-agad nila makikita yan. But then, kapag maganda po yung setup ng account nyo, is mag email back po yan sila. So, ito po yung sasabi ko sa part 1 na waiting game. But not a very long time naman ng pag wait So, kapit lang. Sana po is mag-email na sila sa inyo. Next one is, sabi ni Maria, is, Hi po, new subscriber here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hoping na makahanap ng online job. Dati akong HR assistant. Hoping na makahanap ako. Hoping and praying din po kami na sana makahanap kayo and ma-email na po kayo ni employer para makapag-start na po kayo ng home-based job. Good luck po. And next question is from Richmond. Paano po sumasahod dyan, ma'am? Thanks po sa response. So, sa sahod naman na to is iba't iba yung employer. Pwede ka nilang sahuran through PayPal to your bank account or any um, online padala kung saan mo pwede kunin yung padala. So, depende sa employer yan kung saan niya kayo sasakudan. Legit po ba, ma'am? Super legit. Kasi, kuya, ano po, up until now, nagtatrabaho ko sa employer ko from 5 years ago. And dito po ako naghanap sa onlinejob.ph. Pero kung papanoorin niyo po yung una kong video, I already told you about the scammer. So, please, watch out lang po sa scammers yan. And also, uh, question from Trezia. Trezia? Hi, sis! Mas nire-recommend mo ba yung ganitong klase ng job? than ESL teaching. So, since kung ako yung tinatanong mo, mas nire-recommend ko maghanap sa online job that PH or mga job portals, any other job portals. Kasi, mas makakapili ka ng kung gusto mo lang part-time, freelancing, or full-time. Kasi, I also have an experience sa ESL teaching. So, nagtry ako dyan. Kasi for me, kung wala kang slot na magtuturo ka, hindi ka sa sahod. So, 
way back 2016 kasi for 2017 hindi ko kaya yung ESL teaching kasi I have a child so baby pa siya so hindi ko kaya magturo while magbabantay ako ng baby so depende naman siguro pero for me mas preferred ko yung online job that PH and kung siguro during this quarantine wala ka rin ginagawa or something like that Uh, pwede mo rin i-grab yung opportunity if there is an ESL teaching kasi parang uh, mas maraming bata nagpapaturo online nowadays so okay the ESL teaching and I think that's uh, some of the important questions that I need to answer para rin po sa ka- kaalaman ng karamihan and uh, until the next video uh, papakita ko kung ano ba yung interface ng onlinejob.ph para mag-familiarize kayo kung ano yung gagawin nyo after registering so stay tuned and let's watch the video Hi guys, you're going here on onlinejob.ph. You can see this one. And then you just have to click on the sign up. You have to put in your type in your full name, email address, and password. And tick and just register. And this is what you're going to see next. Just click on I got it. So it's your interface. Niya. This one you have to just tell us your skills it's more about you you just have to type in the job title that you want to do apply or the skills that you think you can do for example data entry admin assistant ito usually yung mga non-voice jobs virtual assistants or mga you can see this one as a freelancing or a part-time or a full-time pedito. So in summary of your skills, uh, more on the skills or experience that you can or type in the salary and the education attainment, employment status, kung unemployed ka, or what experience you have. You can also type in the experience as a call center agent, or a sales lady or admin assistant something like that and number of hours you want to work in a week 40 plus hours if you're going to do a full time date of birth and after that just click on the next or ok button so ito po yung makikita nyo after registering ito yung next page that you're going to see You just have to type in all the skills that you can do para maging okay yung kalalabasan ng account mo. Yan. Yan lang po yung gagawin yung date of birth. And then the next one is the skills that the online job PH has. It's like admin assistant. Five star is, uh, is the highest. I am. So, pipili kayo yung mga you think you can do naman. The Excel, Admin Assistant, and then you just have to type in again your experience based on sa sinet nyo doon sa mga stars na yan. Then, click on next and then this is what are you going to see next. I am. So, dito po, in here makikita nyo yung Uh, sinasabi ka about the scammers yeah, may pagre-reportan kayo and then ito po yung sinasabi ko na mag-upload ng mga government ID to verify your account or your ad- identity then you just you have to take a proficiency test upload your photo in that way yung ID proof nyo is pataas ng pataas yan As long as makumpleto nyo yung details about you, tataas po yung ID proof nyo. The higher the ID proof, the better. Kasi kung ano yung makikita nyo yung jobs, pwede nyo yung applyan ng applyan. So, yan po. Yan. So, you just have to read all of it. And sundin nyo lang po yung verification instructions nila to strengthen your profile. And then this one, Basically, guys, you just have to complete all the details about you so that your ID proof gets higher. And also, I suggest to take some tests so that maganda yung magiging account profile niya. So, yan guys. So, sana nakatulong. And on to the next video naman, ipapakita ko yung sarili kong account na ginawa ko way back 2016 pa. So, uh, silipin natin and tingnan natin kung saan nahanap, kung ano ba yung itsura niya kapag mataas, mataas-taas na yung ID proof niyo. Let's see.
So guys, as you can see, mga suggestions ko kanina on the previous video, kompleto yung um, details about me, the experience, education, and the profile picture, the verified account from my uh, email address. So kompleto, I also uh, took some tests. And uh, with that, yung ID proof ko is tumaas, tumaas. So yan yung mga skills na kaya ko. Yan yung ginawa ko. Yan. Going down. So if you want a non-voice job, you could just go to the upper left corner of the screen. There is a search bar there. You could just type in data entry or admin assistant just like here. And choose employment type and just click on enter. Here you can see the result on the same page. Uh, just like this one, just click on it. The ID proof is 50, salaries 15,000 per month, and engineering requirements. Gusto ni employer para sa yo and how to contact them. So ibat iba yung ID proof kada employer. So I suggest na mag take ng test. Good luck! And I think that's it for the video, guys. I really hope and pray na sana makatulong po ito sa karamihan. And if you have any questions or any suggestion, please comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. And good luck po sa inyong lahat. Bye-bye!